Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we're gonna be doing a 15 minute standing abs workout with weights. Today I have a set of 10 pound dumbbells, but you can use whatever you have available to you at home. If you are not already, make sure you're following me on Instagram. There I post extra workouts, behind the scenes content, all that good stuff. Make sure you can see your screen so you can follow along with me. And without further ado, let's get to it. All right, so our first exercise, you're gonna need one dumbbell. We're gonna do one side at a time. So dumbbells in my right hand. I'm gonna bring my left leg up to meet the dumbbell, or to meet the elbow, sorry, and back down. work, take a 20 second rest, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So we are going to be working our shoulders a little bit with this workout as well. So we're kind of getting a little bit of a two in one workout today. So other side, extending the other leg, dumbbell up in the other arm. Make sure you're bringing that knee up in front of you. Make sure you're not locking your elbow out at the top with that dumbbell. Job. Next exercise, you're gonna need both dumbbells. I'm gonna show you without dumbbells first. So you're gonna have them here. You're going to twist and bring the dumbbell up above head, back down. So this is kind of like an explosive movement. You're really using that core to twist. Remembering not to lock the elbow out at the top. If using weights is too much, you can do this without weights. Just punching the fist up to the sky. Nice job. Dropping one of the dumbbells, you're gonna hold the dumbbell like this. Again, we're gonna do one side at a time. So I'm gonna start with my right leg behind me. You're gonna bring the dumbbell and the knee to meet. You're gonna do a crunch here. Then on your second crunch, you're going to twist, bringing opposite elbow to me down. So you can take these nice and slow. Make sure you're exhaling as you're crunching. Also working on our balance and stability today. Almost like a full body workout. <laughs> Job, drop that dumbbell. 20 second rest, we're gonna do the other side. So this time starting with the other leg back.
really think about that crunch. Nice job. All right, next up we're gonna do some cross body punches. Depending on your strength level, depending on your dumb, the weight of your dumbbells, you're either gonna do this with the weights or without the weights. So if you're holding dumbbells, same thing, you're just punching across, coming back. Punch, back to center. So same thing like when we were doing the other exercise with the shoulder press, twisting. Nice work. Next up, you're holding one dumbbell. Again, we're gonna do one side at a time. So dumbbell's gonna be up in my right hand. We're coming into like this triangle pose here, sliding the back of the hand down the leg, and then coming up. So notice this arm stays nice and straight directly out from my shoulder the whole time, and back up. Nice and slow. Really think about that core as you stand up. Job. 20 second rest, we're gonna do the other side. Here we go, remembering to keep this arm directly out from the shoulder. Really think about squeezing that core as you stand up. Keep that back nice and flat. Nice job, we're halfway there. We're gonna kind of repeat the first round. We have a couple changes but we are going to start off with the same first exercise. So, dumbbells in one hand, arms coming up, legs out to the side. We're doing a cross body crunch, here we go. work 20 second rest we're gonna do the other side
Nice job, you're gonna drop your weight. Next exercise, you don't need any dumbbells for. We're just gonna do some regular standing elbow to knee crunches. But I want you to really focus on mind to muscle connection while doing this. So think about form. Really think about driving that knee upward versus directly towards the chest. So outward a little bit, bringing the elbow to the knee. Nice work. We are going to grab one more dumbbell. We're going to go right back into this single leg crunch with a twist. We're going to do 40 seconds on one side, take a rest, do the other side. Here we go. Really think about that crunch. Think about bringing that belly back into your spine, exhaling on the crunch. Nice work, take a 20 second rest. Here we go, left side. Nice job, you're gonna pick up that second weight. We're gonna do those cross body punches again, or you're doing this without weight. Really stay nice and firm and planted in those feet. Keep a slight bend in the knees. Nice and strong arms, here we go. All right, one more exercise. You're gonna need just one dumbbell for this. We're gonna do some standing twists. So almost as if you were doing like Russian twists on the ground, sitting, dropping the dumbbell to either side. You're gonna do the same thing, except you're standing, bending the knees, dropping the dumbbell to either side. So we're not like twisting and putting strain on our lower back. We're just dropping the dumbbell to either side of our hip. Whew. 
And that is it guys, great job. I hope you enjoyed something a little bit different. I hope you guys enjoyed this standing abs workout. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know how you enjoyed it in the comments down below. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications so you don't miss another video from me. And I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.